Hi everyone, my name is Stephen Waldorf and I am a graduate student at the University of Delaware. And today I'm going to be talking to you about this study, which special thanks to my committee, is centered on COVID-19. So specifically, this is looking at the phenomenon we've witnessed of people disregarding public safety guidelines and precautions put out by the CDC and WHO. This study wanted to see if there was a better way to identify and improve this margin. Three things are key to this study from the start, which is inoculation theory, which is a persuasive theory that prescribes that when someone is aware that they will be persuaded, they are more resistant to that persuasion. Reactance was also measured here in two different forms, message reactance, which is negative affect spurred by a message, and psychological reactance, which encompasses a trait opposition to autonomy violations. Additionally, trust in science was considered for this. As COVID-19 is related to science, this may be relevant. There are eight hypotheses that go along with this. Each of them is a parallel set. The first identifies whether or not the inoculation worked to improve accuracy of beliefs or greater likelihood to comply with safety guidelines. We then tested whether message reactants had a key role in this. We then saw if psychological reactants had a role to play and if trust in science was relevant for this. 156 students were pulled from a major mid-Atlantic university to, for extra credit. They were randomly assigned into equal groups, one being a control group, the other being an inoculation group. Each group was given five question batteries, all of which were found reliable. When we look at what, hypotheses one through four, we do not find significance, but when we look through hypotheses five, six, seven, and eight, we do find partial significance readings. Now, what this means is inoculation did not appear to work in this context. Message reactants did not appear to affect it very much. Psychological reactants and trust in science did seem to have a role to play in this. So going for some limitations, a broader sample may be better to help identify what more of this means. And additionally, we have to look toward the future. So what this is implying is that researchers must pay attention to psychological reactants in addition to trust in science to get more effective public health campaigns. Thank you so much.